You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Uh huh. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. <laughs> Damned poltergeist. Point. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? He's probably right. Not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. They have a pretty In interesting name. She'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Huh. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. He's pretty good at talking. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Ah. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. Okay, so we probably need to light up some something. Incendio. That brazier will help them soon. Alohomora. Okay, so it was extinguished.
Revelio. So this was ex extinguished. Incendio. Great tail, I need to run around like a crazy man. Okay. Apparently, yes. Huh. Okay, that worked. Exactly. I hope we're ready for this. Lumos. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. No comment. Huh. Come on, that was a good one. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. Hmm. Repairer. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Repairer. Lumos. The voice is ancient, sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear ah, he's speak parcel mouth. snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. Huh. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Lumos. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. That's a snake. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. <laughs> Not really. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Incendio. Lumos. So I wonder what's the combination another gate seems slytherin like to play games what's one in the family look in a mirror sebastian P pure luck That's pure luck Luma. another pure luck. solved impressive nice work just randomly <laughs> Just 
Okay, so there's two people. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person Lumos. in the world for it. Another, not the welcoming sort, was he? Every dial seems to be getting more difficult, but we've made it this far. Don't give up. Like two people. I imagine the speeds vary and symbols differ for every dial. Lumos. Any clue around? So these two are... Ah, oh, right, this is open as well. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but... Also rewards. Okay, so that's the part I'm wary of. Arrow All down I and rewards. Duck face. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. So it's uh yeah, duck face and mountain. Seems the dial moves faster than before. Perhaps check you're matching the correct symbols. Lumos. Okay, yeah, that worked. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. I think this game is running now a bit better after the updates. No, not here, but in the neighborhood. Yes. I oh. spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Interesting. The gate. I think we're locked in. Again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Nice. Find a way through. <laughs> Scream, tortured faces. Unforgivable curse. Right. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous. I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, 
and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never Okay, so myself. you can't actually... That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. So basically you can't cast it on yourself, because you really don't what want do to do hurt yourself. Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast <laughs> Crucio. <laughs> he knows. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. I want to learn Cruciatus Curse, but you must cast it on me. I, I don't know if I want to learn, but... Yeah. Apparently it's pretty OP. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Nice fifth year spell. Ready? I'm ready. That might not have been the brightest idea. That pain, it was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Rebellion. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? So Salazar was Slytherin was totally in, into to the theory that magic is learned through the bl blood, the inheritance of the of the. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. And apparently, Hogwarts founder's possession. Mm, what an honor. Still, pure blood bloods are, are not really uh, be much better what than you do with Muggle born. Book? What I do with every book? Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. 
So he's going to read the Salazar's. It's breathtaking. I've been getting an uh, yeah, he's going to read the Salazar's spellbook. I wonder what is leave, going to happen. But I owe you, both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Yeah, well, I'm from the Gryffindor, so I'm probably doing it again. Ah, okay. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Good thing that apparently Salazar didn't need to torture people to get back to his study. Honest, about your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Shadow of the study. by here looking for Mr. Bickle. Very concerning. I would not want someone like Harlow looking for me. You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. All right. My husband. What will I do? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh... Where is my son? Okay, Where lost, is lost child. I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Uh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. Hello, Hamora. Revelio. Any demi guys is here. All right, no then.
sleek dwelling clothes. This could be something I, I would like to upgrade. Big, big, big maybe. Ah, Demiglass is here. So we need, just need to remember it. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. Okay. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that people just cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie! Archie Bickle! Ah! He have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope. Revelio! Which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! Which are three type of the type of mission? I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Pretty cream. Revelio. Wolves, prepare for a fight. I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Revelio. Well, looks like he did. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Revelio! in the road. We will need Revelio again. Revelio. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way.
Oops. Ah. Well, that's a speak. Thestros. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestros too. Akio. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away, and I felt quite helpless. What if? It was a little but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I. Let us be moving. We must find Archie. Don't mind me of collecting Pokemons. So now, now we have an undead horse with, with us. Ah. I think this might require a different kind of approach. Hush now. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. They have Archie. Be on your guard. There can be no mistakes. Miraculous Totalus. Revenio. I bring the lad. Uh. Revelio. Send him home. Kill him. I don't care what you do, but don't leave us to deal with him. This is Arlo's mess. They got what they deserved. I don't think that kills them. If you know more about Harry Potter, you can, you can correct me, but I don't think Perfect Totalus is killing hers. Revenue. Not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. <laughs> yeah, big tent. It complicates things a little. Don't think he saw it happen, do you? He's just a child. We should return uh, this to Dallas. Assassin. Well, this is. Ooh. Assassinate the assassin. That's kind of ironic, really. I should throw stuff away. Yeah.
Lots of enemies. Okay, that's that's one named boss character. I suppose we can't we can't come around this way, so we need to. Come from the right side and try to ambush them. Quantity might have a quality of its own, so that's why. Defeat infamous foes. <laughs> just sneak to them, man. Ah, cast, just cast the spell. This is something I might want to sell. This is totally vegan remove. Yeah, I need to do the Merlin trials. Wait a, wait a moment. I'm playing sl Solid Snake here, so... Okay. I think this is okay. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Aloha, Mora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. All right. That word worked out. And now it, it seems that I have a excellent internet connection. I don't know why, why the... Twitch keeps dropping my st stream once in a while.
it's loading, definitely. Mrs. Pickle. Here you are. Archie, you're here! Oh, oh, you're safe. Mother? Oh, mother. Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Raid. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. Well, he's already after us. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. <laughs> 